Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk to you about CoinSpot, an Australian marketplace for buying cryptocurrencies. So I'm kind of jumping into this at the end. I want to do a series of episodes on blockchain and cryptocurrencies, explaining what they are, how they work, and why the world has gone crazy over them over the last few years. See up here for a link to the series when it's ready. But I've just jumped in to the crypto market myself. And to do that, I needed to create and secure an account. So I thought I'd share how I did it and we'll fill the rest in later on. This also means we can watch and keep a check on the coins that I've bought and see how they're going and see how I'm doing. Please note, this is in no way investment advice. I'm just a guy who knows a bit about computers. I'm not an investment expert and I'm not licensed to give investment advice. What I am is a guy who's going to show you how to use a website that, if you choose, you can use to buy cryptocurrencies, or crypto for short. Before we dive in, I want to say there are thousands of different cryptocurrencies in this marketplace, and more that you can only get to in other ways. You've probably heard of Bitcoin, unless you've been living under a rock. You may have even heard of Ethereum or even Dogecoin, because that's hit the news a bit recently. There are many, many others. I'll cover some of the differences and similarities between them over the coming weeks. But for now, sit back and learn how to create a CoinSpot account. And if you're looking to create your own, you can use the link up here, and the channel will benefit as your referrer. So I'm going to start by going to CoinSpot.com.au. Like most of these sorts of sites, we click register. We need an email. And we want a pretty strong password. I'm fairly sure I'm not a robot. Oh, okay. It rents a really strong looking password. That's good, I suppose. There we go. That's a good password. I'm fairly sure I'm not a robot. Whoa, I'm not a robot. Yay. All right, let's create this account. We'll save that password. Complete verification. Firstly, I need to uh, verify my email. Okay, email verification completed. This is a personal account. Oh, oh, sorry, I don't have a middle name. I'll add in my address, which hopefully you can't see. Am I a politically exposed person? I don't think so. Now I have to upload at least one of the documents below my driver's license and then i submit that for verification and now i'm approved and can deposit up to two thousand dollars per day I don't really want to download to deposit a hundred thousand dollars a day, so I'm not going to increase my limit. And here I have my portfolio, which is empty, not surprisingly. So what I need to do is deposit some funds. There's a variety of different ways. I personally like Pay ID. In fact, if you don't know what Pay ID is. You can check up here, and I have an episode all about PayID, online banking, and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to enable PayID on my account. All PayID deposits must include a description comment that CoinSpot provides in your bank's description or comment field. And there's a help article, I understand. I now have my details, which I will hide just in case. I think you can only use them to put money in my account, 
but you know, just to be safe. Um, it's instant, it's free. I can do a minimum of a dollar and a maximum of $2,000. So what I need to do now is deposit some money into that pay ID. And despite the fact that CoinSpot says it's instant to deposit money using pay ID, most banks will actually hold for up to four hours for a first transfer. So as soon as the money's here, I will come back and continue this video. Here we are now and the funds have arrived in my account. It's about 10 hours later because I had to go and play bowls. But I've also in that time added some coins that I'm interested in to my watch list. I have to say, I am in no way giving financial advice or investment advice. This is just some stuff that I'm interested in. You buy what you like. It's also worth noting that a lot of these coins are in the red at the moment over the last 24 hours. Uh, it's been a bit of a, a rough week on the market. One of the things that you can do is actually from this, which is just the home page, you can see a chart of each of the individual coins. Uh, I like to middle click on them and that will actually open it up. Now, again, I'm not going to give advice on reading candlestick charts, um, but you can see that from the 6th of Feb a week ago, uh, the market is considerably down, although it does look like it's picked up in the very most recent past. So yeah, this is just one of the coins, a basic attention token chart. If you click on the actual coin itself, I thought it gave you some information. Oh, if you click on buy, it tells you a little bit about what type of coin it is and what it does and how it works. One of the suggestions given to me was that you look at the things that have changed over the last 24 hours. So actual Bitcoin itself is down 2.74%, down to the IOTA, which is down nearly 10%. In fact, I think it was 10% a few minutes ago when I looked, meaning it's on the improve, I guess. So now it's a case of buying and eventually selling um for example i'm going to buy some bitcoin how much in australian dollars so obviously one bitcoin is nearly sixty thousand dollars if i want to spend 50 australian dollars then that is eight ten thousandths of a bitcoin roughly and i can buy that confirm it cost me 50 cents which is a 1% fee. And I bought it. So I can now go to my dashboard and underneath my watch list, I thought was my portfolio. Maybe it hasn't updated yet. Reload. Is my portfolio which has lost 50 cents because that's the fees that I paid and I have $49.48 worth of Bitcoins. I also want to buy some Ethereum, which I will also buy $50 worth of. And then I'm looking at some of the others. I probably won't buy as many different things as I was originally going to simply because of the transaction fees involved. I'm going to buy some Dogecoin because Dogecoins are actually only worth 20 cents. I actually get 242 of those. And then I also wanted some chain link just because I thought it sounded interesting. And they're a much cheaper coin, they're only $22 each. So for $50, I'll get two and a bit. That leaves me with $50, which I will, let me reload that. There was one more that I wanted to buy, but I can't 
work out which one I bought and which one I didn't. Ah, there's the ones that I've bought. The IOTA is the one that I haven't. So I will buy that and do $50 worth. Buy, confirm, and I have spent all of the money that I deposited earlier. And I've lost about $2.50 in fees. Actually, $2.80 something. Something's already gone down since I bought it. But that's what happens in markets like this. Now, the other thing that is worth looking at is we strongly advise you to turn on two-factor authentication. So I'm going to enable two-factor authentication. If you don't know what two-factor authentication is, there's an episode all about that up here. I'm going to turn it on. And now I have to scan this QR code from the Authenticator app on my phone. It is a bit tricky because I have many Authenticator apps. I'm going to try the Google one, scanning the QR code. And that seems to have worked. And I now add in the current token, which you won't be able to see because I'll blank it out just in case. And now I have two-factor authentication turned on to protect my account. The only other thing worth noting while we're here is there's an option to refer a friend and earn Bitcoin. So if you want an invite, send me an email, ask at techdoctor.com.au and I'll send you an invite or use my link here or the code here, which will be listed in the description down below or there'll be a link up here as well. So there you have it. That's CoinSpot and a little bit about how you might use it. There's also a mobile app for CoinSpot, which you can see up here, downloadable from the iOS or Google Play Store. A great place to trade on the go or just keep an eye on what the market's doing. Question of the day. Are you actually interested in blockchain and cryptocurrencies? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos that you may not have seen before, here and here. And you could subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, and our newsletter by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.